Uh. Hi. Uh, I'm gonna spend some time doing some biology work right now, uh, for my class. Uh, I wonder, I wonder, uh, down under, if, uh, oh, look, there it is. Oh, live, baby. At a guy, look at this. Cool beans. Uh, I'm gonna be reading the questions aloud, and then I'm gonna be going to Google, right here. Uh, I wonder, I wonder if, if, uh, uh, if you, if you want to comment and give me some good old knowledge nuggets about biology while I do this, that would be cool. Other than that, I'm literally just going to be sitting here doing my homework. Uh, that's what's happening. This, this is just how it's going to be. Alright. Be able to tell the difference between monocot and dicot. Roots. Mono... Cot versus dicot roots. Gotta put the parentheticals, that's important. Gotta have that. Monocot stems. Oh. Monocot stems have most of their vascular bundles near the outside edge. Uh, dicots have their xylem in the center. Oh. Sweet. All right. Let's go to images. I want to see this. That's a pretty good one right there. Dicote monarch. Okay. So dicote just basically, uh, dicote just basically means that it's got a bunch of stuff. Going on, let's a bunch of schmeg mess. I'm assuming that they did it left to right. Yes, so this is the one that is, uh, that is a dicot, which got this like spagoot situation, just a bunch of aqua dot looking dipping dots and this one's actually got uh like a c star like a like a like a sand dollar situation going on like one of these that's what that kind of looks like that's how i'm gonna remember that the mono looks like a sand dollar there we go that's how we do this that's what you gotta do man that's all you need uh, so yeah, I think I can recognize it based on monocot looking like a looking like a sand dollar. Uh, now we gotta go look at monocot versus dicot stem. So let's go. Let's just change the parenthetical to stem and wait, stems plural. Let's go. Uh, monocot looks less complex and dicot looks more complex, and I feel like that is how. Ooh, those look like uh. Candy corn. Let's look at the candy corn. Yeah, see, look, it looks like, oh, see, look, it's like kind of like candy corn. Neat. Awesome. So, yeah, Dicote's got candy corn, which are called phloem. Uh, I'm sure that's just the dissection of a tube. Uh, so there's that, a cross-section, not a dissection. There's a difference, I think. I don't wanna... Don't wanna, don't wanna make you, uh... Have the confusion. Uh... Hmm... Okay, let's see. Let's see what's next. Leaves. Monaco versus dicot leaves. Oh, so it's literally just the difference between blades and like net leaves. I guess I call them that, but like blades versus like yeah, 
Monocoat leaves have, they're like the shovel situation, or blades. And these are the, like, maple leaf situation. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, I like that. I can remember that. Uh. Okay. That's pretty good. Dicots are more complex most of the time. Uh, hold on. Mono sand dollar. I should have been writing these down. I haven't been. My apologies. Uh, dicot candy corn and mono shovel. Cool. All right. Um. Ah. Uh, What's what's the what's the haps on the craps? Let's look. Flowers. Gotta check the flowers. Oh, so they're in multiples. Monocots are in trees. Dicots are in fours and fives. That's pretty neat. That's pretty easy to remember. I just gotta remember. Mono is three. Even though that's not how mono works. Uh, I mean, unless you're talking about a tricot, then maybe. That would be tree for tricot. Uh, dicot is four and five, I guess. Which doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. But hey, I can I can remember it just for, just for one test. Huh? That's all I need. Be able to identify a tap root and or fibrous root. Uh, let's look up tap root. Ooh, that's a caps lock. Tap root versus five. Oh, fibros root. Oh, so a tap root's basically just a carrot. Ah, oh, yeah. Tap roots are like carrots. Okay. Tap roots are like carrots. Ogres are like onions. Cool. Ah, uh, that's about all. okay. What's next on our little list here? Huh? Be able to tell me the age of a tree by counting the annual rings. Uh, I guess this is a, a more of an all. Uh, how to tell the age of a tree by by its rings. Look at you, Twelve. I can type, I promise. If you know when the tree was planted, you can easily accurately determine uh, its age. The second most accurate way to estimate tree age is to count annual rings. Annual rings can be counted using two different methods. You can... Extract an increment core from the tree using an increment borer. Let's see what the images look like for that one. Oh, okay. So I gotta wait. wait, wait. Okay. By counting the rings. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so you literally just count the rings and that's it. I can do that. That's easy. I can do that. It's just easy as pie, dude. This is not a problem. Yup. Easy. No, the parts of a leaf. Uh oh. Parts of. A leaf of a leaf blade petiole like raviole. So that's the like leaf stem stipules. Oh, uh, why are they? What's what serve? What's what purpose do stipules serve? Stipule. What? Those stipules, though. I wonder. Stipules. 
stipules or is a term coined by Linnaeus which refers to Linnaeus I guess which refers to outgrowths born on either side of the base of the leaf stock okay I got that part but why is it a thing what is that why is that what's it do why is it that way it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have evolve like that for no reason that seems a little bit silly don't know why that would be that's kind of cuckoo crazy if you ask me I didn't even look how this works coined by Linnaeus I'm gonna call him Linnaeus cuz I don't care he's not here to tell me otherwise so I'm just gonna pronounce it how I want uh, which refers to outgrowths born on either side sometimes just one side Ah, hold on. I'm gonna take a little. Hey, we're back. There we go, baby. Sorry about that. I had to go check if my door was locked. Because uh, potentially a scary man or woman could come inside and stab me from behind while I wasn't looking. And that would just put a dampener on my day. And blood all over my homework. And I can't turn it in that way. Because I'll be dead. And also they'll make fun of me for having bloody homework. It'll be so much messier than this. <sighs> all the problems, huh? Let's continue to learn about stipules. In some botanical writing. Uh, the stipule was more generally to refer to any small leaf so a little baby twin leaves that come out of the big boy leaf they vary widely from species to species stipular spines accompanied by prickles of <gasps> oh my god so when I was a little boy when I was just a little tiny boy uh, I lived in uh, a place down south where where there were cacti uh, and they were spiky and they had big needles but something else they had that was even worse were little tiny spikes around the big spikes that would get stuck all in you and they suck because you had to get lotion to get them off and people make funny after using lotion so that's that that's those are stipules those suck i hate stipules i'm mad i looked it up damn it Know the parts of the leaf from the picture? I know stipules. Stipules suck. And you know what else sucks? When my dog farts. Hey. Hey, you. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Smells like shit. Stop that. Hey. I'm not, I'm talking to you, huh? I'm talking to you. Don't you do shit and then not tell me about it. Don't shock me either. I'm sad. I'm sick of your shit. You're a, you're a genetic disaster piece. You dog, you you lay down, gosh darn it. I love my dog. My dog's great. A little bit retarded, but hey. That's none of my business. Midrib. A midrib? Uh, that's... So I guess that the petiole continues into a midrib. The line that comes off from... From the... From the... Petiole turns into a midrib all the way up the leaf. And I'm sure that's the same for both dicot and monocot. Vein is the little thing that comes off of the midrib. Small netted veins are the veins that come off the veins that come off the midrib. And the blades are the little sharp things. They're like serrated teeth. They'll cut you open. That's what that is. Okay, I feel like I've got it down now. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Uh, from the picture on page 403. Ah, meow. Yeah, know about that. I feel like there was actually more I needed to look at. Not just a picture of any leaf. Let's look at... Ah, get out of my backpack. Let's look at actual leaves on an actual book about actual plants. Well, not the whole 
the whole book isn't about plants. It's just done with the book. What even? Page 403. That's how we find it. With pages like adults. 403. Hearts of the Leaf 403. Ah. That is a lot more than I thought. The one I looked at was like third grade math. And this shit is like big boy math. Well, it's not math, actually, at all. I lied to you. I'm sorry. Uh, we've got... Okay, what do we call that? Um, parts of leaf. Micro... Under a microscope. This is what we are talking about right here. We've got an epidermis. Upper. Hecadermis. Up on the top area. Where's the lower? The lower epidermis is the bottom of the leaf. The part where all the guard cells are. They're on the bottom of the leaf. Because they let out waters. CO2 in oxygen out. So they, they let out airs of different varying types. I guess. Uh, spongy mesophyll. That, that area is a spongy mesophyll. Xylem, the vein, this is the vein, the xylem is the corny part, it looks like corn a little bit, doesn't look so much like corn in this picture, this looks like corn, but that in this book that looks like just straight up corn on the cob, uh, the rest of it is phloem and bundle sheath, just in case you were curious, also um, was mesophyll, it encompasses the palisade cells which are the ones that look like teeth on this big ham sandwich monster and then we've got spongy cells the ones that actually look like corn okay I think I've un I understand this completely now now what we gotta do now oh I do oh oh don't want to look at that that's the stream gave you a little peek ha 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 uh, let's, what's next? That's done. Bink. Be able to identify the xylem and phloem tubes from a slide of a three-year woody stem. Well, I got me a woody stem for biology, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, I, I don't. I lied. I don't actually, I don't like this. But I'm gonna keep doing it because school makes me do it. Gangster rap made me do it. Let's look. What are we looking at? Three year woody stem. That's Wadi. I need Woody. As in the sheriff. Three year woody stem under a microscope. Is this what she wants? I'd be able to identify the xylem. Where is that? Secondary xylem. I just need the plain old xylem. Don't need your fancy shit. I just need fucking xylem. That's all I need. Xylem ray. That sounds like a dangerous weapon from a super villain. That's what this is. Duke Ellington says hot. I agree. It is hot. It's super hot. Like that one game called Super Hot. What are we gonna do here? Xylem and Phloem. Phloem is this, the crust of the pizza, and then Xylem is the rest of the pizza. That's how we're gonna do a baby boo. So I think I got that. Uh... The phloem is the crust of the pizza. Xylem is the rest of the pizza. Rest of the pizza. Boom, baby. 
Now we're doing it real hot. Our guy, look at this. Be able to identify vessel elements from a slide and sieve tube elements from a slide. Well, uh, wait, oh, ooh, ooh, an additional question on top of that other question, which one goes with xylem and which one goes with phloem? Well, looks like we've been set on a grand quest, ladies and gentle Benz. Um, ladies and Mercedes Benz, gentlemen's. Let's go look at what in the actual fuck. Vessel elements. Oh, I can't type. Vessel elements. What question are you trying to find? Uh, I'm finding all of them. Finding all of them. That is what is happening, ladies and gentlemen. Vessel elements, go! That looks like a pan flute immediately. That is an immediate pan flute. Okay. Also, it sometimes looks like corn. What? Oh no, one of those is the other thing. Okay. Xylem structure, vessel elements look like bamboo. Uh, now let's look at... Let's look at, uh, this other stuff. Man. Uh, we got vessel elements. It looks like bamboo pan flute magic. Uh, gotta look at sieve. Look kind of like glaive, how it's spelled weird with the I in the wrong place. Uh, sieve tubes. Sieve tubes. Nah, shit, this one looks like the other thing, dude. But this one's kind of sacky. Fine, sieve tubes versus a vessel elements. Uh, let's see what's going on here, ladies and baby men's. If I, if I, uh, hold on, hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop this and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm sorry that I can't fix the latency. I already started the stream, and if I were to stop it, then that would just ruin the whole party. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna keep going until I'm done, and then I'm gonna go to sleep or play Banjo-Kazooie. One of those two things. Probably the Banjo. Uh, so here's what is going to happen. Um, rest. Okay, we're looking at this. Uh, vessel elements, baby. Okay, what's which one? Sieve tubes have this on the side. So they've like... This like the core of a mozzarella stick and that's like the bread on the outside. Got it. That's, um, that's enough for me. Ooh, but there's more to that question. Actually, uh, I can't... Uh, Ugh. 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 I lost it completely, okay. Xylem. Which one's Xylem? Xylem structure is include vessel. So that means that xylem do my detective skills. Uh, xylem 
is vessel. Thus, the other one goes with the other one. You know how this goes. That's how this really goes. Uh, to the one person watching, cool. I'm glad you're here. Uh, I'm still gonna do my homework. I'm not stopping to do my... I'm not stopping the homework thing. That's gonna keep happening. Actually, that's not gonna stop. Uh... No, no, the function of stomas and where they are located on land plants and water plants. Gosh darn it, that's a real hard question. Let me just Google it, baby. Uh, no, the function of stomas. Function of stoma. Function of stoma. Okay, here's what this is, that doesn't help, let me read something else that's smaller. Stoma pours in a leaf, ah, oh, so the stoma is the actual, the entirety of it. The guard cells make up the stoma, and the stoma lets air through it, lets air through it, that's how it works. Ah. Uh, Know the function of stomas and where they are located on land plants and water plants. Where is a stoma on a water plant? Now before I press enter, I'm going to make a guess. Because I know the stoma on a land plant is on the bottom of the leaf. But if the stoma was on the bottom of a water plant, then it would drown. So I think the stoma is on the top so it can get air. Let's see if I'm right. Yes! Ah, I'm the best. I'm a genius. Got a big old brain. Let's see how el uh, what else. Gosh darn it. Be able to identify on a slide. Be able to identify on a slide other leaf crocs. So what am I looking at? Stoma? Up down? Ah. That's a final battle. The music got louder. I guess it's about time for other music actually. I'm gonna I'm gonna find some new music. Uh Nah, not that one. How about uh, how about, uh, actually, I'm going to pause it for a piss. I am back from the piss, uh, and I have to give you some music. Let's go for, uh... Let's go for more Banjo. Banjo Kazooie is a good old game. Uh, Spiral Mountain. There we go. That's beautiful. I'm not gonna give that any more thought, actually. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Gotta go with this. Jungle Japes, my guy. Let's go with it. Ooh, it's real good. Okay, enough of the enough of the focusing on the music. That's not what's important here. Be able to identify the cross section on a slide. Uh, stoma on a slide. They look like a vagina. That is it. I will remember that because I am a dirty man. Look over the results of Transpiration Lab and be able to discuss the differences that were observed. That was the one with the glass tube where she put the, the glass tube on the stem of the plant and then exposed it to wind 
heat and standard room temperatures and there was a difference in the amount of water let out of the plant uh, in each one because the stoma, the guard cells closed when it was windy and the guard cells closed when it was uh, hot as well. Awesome, I said it. Be able to discuss translocation, that is the movement of something uh, from one place to another. That's the literal definition, though I'm sure uh, she means translocation of water through the plant. Except uh, that's not true, actually, never mind. That is transpiration. That is different. Uh, that is a completely different thing, actually. Gosh dang it. Ugh. Uh. What is translocation? God damn it. Uh, all. What is translocation in a plant? Movement of materials from leaves to other tissues. So, X this out and say movement of ma m is it materials? Yeah. Movement of materials from the leaves to the rest of the plant. Beautiful. Difference between gravitropism and phototropism. I know that one. Uh, gravitropism is when the plant uh, grows away from the from the ground because gravity. Because the way it works, if a plant starts to grow sideways, a fluid collects on the side closest to the ground because of gravity, and then that fluid stimulates that side of the plant to expand more rapidly than the other side thus causing it to curve upwards and then phototropism is when the plant senses light and then goes directly towards the light uh, this can be observed when you knock over a pot and leave it knocked over when it's on a windowsill the plant will bend upwards and towards the window still from the windowsill cool I know that one Two more. Know the function of hormones used in the lab. Of the hormones. Ah, shit, I was absent for that. Uh, plant hormones. Phyto hormones. Hey, look at that. It's phyto, baby. Look at the phyto. Gosh darn it. Uh... How do plants use hormones? Five major types of hormones in plants. These are those. And that, actually. These, these. More. I want to read it, the whole thing. Ah! Study.com. Auxins are produced in the immature parts of the plant that stimulate growth. Um, okay. Uh, stimulate cell differentiation. Auxins are basically like stem cells for plants. Uh, cytokinesis, nope, cytokinins, sorry, nerd brain made me say the other thing. Uh, plants are gay. Okay, that's that's what uh, somebody said in the in the comments. Plants are gay. I don't know. I've never met a plant or had a conversation with a plant, but I feel like we would have little in common because I stay out of direct contact with the sun as much as I can. So I feel like a conversation would not spout between me and the plant. Unless he needs some water or something. I'd, I'd help a plant. Uh, cytokins, what are these? Several responsibilities, that's not me. Uh, working with auxins to stimulate growth. They produce anti-aging effects. 
awesome. I need to give that to some choice people. Because they need to age less. Oh, I see how this is. Uh, what do they do? We know that glutes can help stimulate cell elongation. Oh, okay. Regents for Street Trial, I am a student. Hell no. Um. Schmoop. Schmoop is real good. Elongation effects, uh, now for this. Uh. ABA come from the word absi absize, meaning to cut off or fall away. It is a scary name. You're right. It's spooky. On a plant, both leaves and fruits fall off an abscisic acid. Got its name because they originally thought that ABA caused leaves and fruits to fall off. It turns out later that other hormones, C-ethylene, are mainly responsible for abscission. But the name stuck. Then what does it do? It is the main player in seed dormancy. Now the important role is is drought tolerance. That's in that's important. And then this, I'm assuming, is why ripes fall off. Ripe fruits. Oh wait, no. No. Ethylene is when uh, the plant all the fruits of the plant talk to each other and then they all get ripe at the same time. It's like when women in a house, when they live together long enough, their menstrual cycles, like, synchronize. It's like that, but with fruit on a tree. Interesting. What is this? This page is trying to load scripts. Oh, no. Get out of there. Schmoops is trying to get me, man. To be able to discuss Darwin's plant phototropism experiments. Uh, Darwin's plant... Phototropism. Uh, food toot. Phototropism. Yeah, that's what I meant. Darwin. D'Artagnan. Uh, further explored. Oh. Okay. So he basically just discovered phototropism and gravitropism. Okay. Well, that's the end of that paper. So I am done with that. Uh, cool. If you made it through the end of this, you must like me. I guess. Uh, so I have a Twitter that I try and update once a day. So if you want to, like... To put a follow on that, uh, uh, I'll put in the description, uh, my, uh, Twitter handle, I guess, is at Traviathan YT. Traviathan YT. Uh, thank you guys uh, for giving it a watch. And um, I'm going to go away now to bed probably.